Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. Welcome back to this learning series on mutual fund investments. I have explained in uh, previous um, episodes of this learning series that the uh, ideal strategy of investment, the best strategy of investment for the vast majority of retail investors is to invest through SIPs, systematic investment plans, in which a particular amount of money is invested every month. A similar investment which takes place periodically every month is the uh, RDs, recurring deposits in banks. Recurring deposits, as the name implies, are recurring. They recur ideally every month. There are other intervals also available. So RDs and uh, SIPs are comparable in periodicity. But again, if you look at the performance of uh, RDs and performance of SIPs over the, a long period, the, the returns are hugely different. Let us look at this table. In this table, we have taken the returns from RDs and SIPs for a 10-year period from 15-6-2013 to 15-6-2023. The return from RD, the average return from RD is 6%. It is important to understand that in RDs, the interest rates are compounded quarterly. But if you take the mutual funds, I have taken a large cap mutual fund, mid cap mutual fund and small cap mutual fund and the average returns from these mutual funds are taken. The average from these mutual funds are for this last 10 year period 12.19 percentage for large cap funds, 16.5 percentage for mid cap funds and an incredible 19.22 percentage for a small cap mutual funds. These are the average. Some funds have performed better than that. Some funds have performed uh, worse than that. This is the average. So the conclusion is very clear. Uh, and let me, let me add one more point here. Uh, in uh, mutual fund uh, returns, we always take uh, XIRR. XIRR is extended internal rate of return, not the CAGR because um, in the SIPs, uh, each installment is made separately. So the returns from each each in investment, each installment has to be treated separately. That is why extended internal rate of return is taken. And if you look at this extended internal rate of return, there's a huge difference between the returns from RDs and the returns from uh, equity mutual funds. So in the long run, after a 10 year period, the value of the reductions will be hugely different. So what are the conclusions? The conclusions are, Stocks outperform all other asset classes in the long run, repeat in the long run, not in the short run. Investments in uh, stocks beat inflation by a decent margin in the long run. Systematic investment plans in mutual funds beat returns from recurring deposits in the long run. So the conclusion is very clear as to which investment is superior. Happy investing.